Good morning. This is day five of the raw diet. This morning we added uh, chicken livers, gizzards, and hearts on top of a nice big frozen turkey or chicken thigh. I kind of just put them on one container and froze them together into a block. <laughs> made pretty short works of the organs now that it's crunching down on the thigh bones and whatnot. Hi Miss Freya. Miss Freya's a little camera shy still. <laughs> she goes and hides under her chair. Hey girl. Let's see if we can sneak over here. Oh. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a little bit of organ meat still attached. And she chews the fall off. <laughs> Alright, we'll let her do her thing. One second. See if I'll miss that me area who doesn't give a rat about anything. Got camera, whatever. I eat him. Don't bother me. Hi, little puppies. Yeah, was that good? It's about 5.30 a.m. I didn't have to work last night, so I got up early. Probably why it's a bit darker than normal. You're so cute, Fluffy. Yeah, was that good? So, I feed my dogs what is known as a barf diet, which is biologically appropriate raw foods. I try to get semi-close to 80% uh, muscle mass, 10% bone, 10% organ meat. But, you know, it is what it is. Some days higher, some days lower. It's all good. Yeah, you fit that way. Let's see if we can sneak up on sister without, you know, interrupting her. Those long shots. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, miss for ya. Isn't she cute?
so as I state every time in one of these videos, it is totally fine. It is good to feed them chicken bones. The issue is with raw bones. When they become raw, they change consistency, they become brittle, and they'll splinter. And that's what causes you know, the bowel obstructions, the perforations, and just general indigestibility. But while they're raw, they don't care one bit because you know, they evolved that way over the last millions of years of eating raw animal carcasses. And then, you know, raw chicken, people instantly think salmonella. But because the dog's digestive juices and whatnot are over four times stronger than humans and they have a real fast track, uh, well, diseases and stuff, bacteria, really doesn't affect them the way it would us. Oh, you gonna come closer now? Yeah, you're not so camera shy. You hey, silly girl. One of the reasons I, you know, started researching this raw food diet and stuff is. Uh, Freya here, when we got her, had patches of dry skin, or I guess it could be hot spots, who knows. But I wanted to see if it was a food allergy, and you know, a lot of research says that this is one of the best ways to get rid of that. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on that, seeing you know, how much she scratches, if they go away, if they get worse. Yeah. Just a little thing. A little bit more babies. There you go. That's a nice real frozen block of organ meat. Yeah. All those little hearts and livers and gizzards. <laughs> mm. Oh, whitey. And now she's all done. Miss Freya. Freya, babies. You gonna say goodbye? Say goodbye. Goodbye! Oh, let me away, sir. Hey, babies. Let me away, say goodbye!